Hey YouTube, it's Sharice here, and I'm here with an unboxing on two essentially new foundations. One is a really exciting one that I have never used before, but heard a lot of hype about from a very specific, very affluent and influential YouTuber. And the other one is one that I picked up in the past, and I've always wanted to try, but I had the hardest time finding my correct shade and had a very tragic experience in the department store that I went to when it came to matching my very melanated skin. Before you judge me for the shade matching I've done today, just know that on camera my foundations always come off looking really weird and strange on camera, but in person my foundation matches me almost perfectly. And as you can see, I have gotten a tan. I am Compared to my face, it looks like my face is way lighter, but I have gotten tan. I am my summer color almost all the way, and let's just jump right in. So let's start with the one that I had a terrible experience with. Let's just go ahead and um, let me tell you that story. So I went to Belk. It's a southern store down here in the south. It's a department store to pick up the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, and they didn't have all the shades in store that Estee Lauder actually offers because they do it based on you know how much people buy and stuff so they didn't have a lot of the darker shades and I was swatching and swatching and swatching lady was very patient with me and then we came down to two colors that I had swatched on my arm and on my hand I know you're not really supposed to swatch like on your arm they say use your chest or you know use your jaw right here but I already had on full face makeup because I usually almost always have a full face makeup on when I'm going out until as of recently because you know my skin has gotten better anyways a long story short I always match I always swatch it right where the two colors change like right here you see how there's a darker side of my arm and a lighter side here's the darker side of my arm here's the lighter side of my arm those are two totally different skin tones they look like they could be attached to two totally different people that's just a part of having melanated skin so I always like to swatch on my arm where I can see both the shades because I would like to get a shade that if it matches the darkest parts of me, it's not going to look right on my face because my chest is so light. If I match the darkest parts of me, or the lightest parts of me, then it won't quite match my neck. My neck is not quite as dark as the darkest parts of my body, and my chest is one of the lightest parts of my body. So I want something that's kind of in the middle that kind of meshes all the different shades of brown together. So that's the struggle I'm dealing with, is I have multicolored skin. Being ethnic, being black, a lot of us have more than one skin tone on our body. But my neck is darker than my actual face and my chest. And as you can see, like my arms, the back part of me is darker than the front half of me. So, I mean, you can see it there. Like, just look. So I try to get something that's in the middle. So we came to down to these two shades. And one really matched the lighter parts of me. And the other one I thought match the darkest parts of me but when I took the samples home and I ended up purchasing one then because there's like a free gift with purchase an excellent deal with some skincare items and a keychain and lots of other incentives because I didn't want to wait I was impatient when I want a foundation like I want to buy it then and I had done so much research on this foundation and looked up so many things about it I wanted to buy it that day so I went with the shade I think 6N truffle which is like a neutral shade but after doing some more research and watching re watching reviews on it, I found out that the neutral shades in Estee Lauder tend to pull very gray on people if you don't have a true neutral undertone, which I don't. I have a very warm yellow golden undertone to my skin with like a hint of red in there. But I'm not really truly a neutral person. So when I took that foundation home, it looked way too light and it looked super gray and ashy, like scary gray on my skin. But on my arm, it looked fine. So that was the thing I was dealing with. I also got samples of the deeper shade just in case. I was like, well, this doesn't work out. I can get the deeper shade and then maybe I'll just mix them or whatever. Or, you know, just return the blah, blah, blah. When I tried the deeper shade out on my face, I think it was, I can't remember the name of the color. I have the, I did a video of it. You'll see that it came off way too dark on my skin. Like, it made me look, it was too dark. Like, it just wasn't the right shade. So... After posting that and getting some feedback from you guys, you suggested a shade for me, and I decided just to take your suggestion and go with the deepest one out of the three shades you, you said I should try. I have the box here. That's just the paper if I want to return it. 
you can see it says Estee Lauder on the gold sticker right there. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, there's some fancy stuff in here. Breast cancer awareness, something about that. I don't think there's anything else in this paper. <coughs> Whole bunch of paper. Here's the box the foundation comes in. And I decided to get the shade... Deep Spice 7W1. Looks like this. I love the box. And this is the double wear, I can't speak, double wear, stay in place makeup. And so it looks like we're going to swatch it on camera. And they also sent me a little ribbon for breast cancer awareness. Oh, breast cancer awareness, which is cute. Alright, so that's the box. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I wish I had the other shade to show you, but I gave it to my sister. Any foundations that don't work for me, I automatically just go ahead and give them to my younger sister because she is lighter than me. And one of her best friends is, is light skin. Ooh, yeah, this looks like it's going to be a good match. Y'all have might have come through for me. So this is what it looks like in the bottle. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Because this looks like it's going to be a good match. I'm really hoping that it is because I really have been wanting to test this foundation out for so long. So again, I have the shade 7W1 Deep Spice and I will be doing a tutorial using this. Um, maybe tomorrow, but I'm planning to go stop by for to check on a job, potential job. I need my makeup to look awesome and perfect, but we might just test this out tomorrow anyways. So I'm having good feelings. So yeah, this is it. Let's open it up. It comes in a nice frosted glass bottle. There's no pump. It does have a little bit of a paint smell, which I already knew that about this. So I'm just going to quick do a little dip, a dippy dab. I got a little bit on my finger. Let's swatch it on the deepest part of me. Oh, yeah. Do you see that right there, how it blends? Oh, my goodness. So I have it right there on my arm. You can see how it's drying down. And that looks like it matches. And I'm in 100% natural light right now. It almost disappeared into my skin. Let's swatch a little bit on the lighter part of me. That was the darkest part of me. Let's do some on my chest. I'm going to take a little bit more. Oh, that's even nice on my chest. You see that too? See how it's a little bit deeper, but it, it looks really good? Oh yeah, that's nice. Like I said, this is 100% natural light. It's a little bit deeper, but it goes with my skin tone well. You see how it's going to look good on my face? Because it's not that much darker than my chest, but it's not... It blended into my arm really well, though. Like, I can't even see it now. Can you tell where I put the foundation? I can't. So I think this is the perfect shade. I'm so excited to try this. I might wear this tomorrow. Like I get really excited about foundations. But you see how that just blended in my chest though? You can still see it a little bit. But man. Yeah y'all came through with a color match. I'm going to start letting y'all color match me to stuff. So again this is the shade 7W1 Deep Spice. And this is 100% natural light I'm looking at. Yeah that's going to be real nice. And I don't care if it's shirt gets dirty. So that is this foundation. Again, the Estee Lauder Double Wear 7W1 Deep Spice. I cannot remember the name of the subscriber who recommended the shade to me, but she was like, that's the shade I wear. You look like you're my skin tone, my complexion. You should give out, give this shade a try. And I'm loving it so far. I'm so excited to put this on my face. Bruh. So that's that. Moving on to the next foundation. This foundation came all the way from Canada. And this is the foundation that was recommended by a very influential and affluent youtuber by the name of Wayne Goss. I love Wayne Goss. He is um you know a white man with a beard like we literally have nothing in common but he knows his makeup. He's a makeup artist and he gives great tips. Let me show you this box. It took me forever to get this package. I ordered this in April I think April 29th so literally like a month and a few days to get this product but it was worth the wait I'm sure. I've watched so many reviews on it and people are loving this foundation. I'm super excited to try this one out. The Abnormal Beauty Company. This is that um, Dicium, Decium foundation that he was talking about. There's two um, formulas. There's the serum one, and then there's like the coverage one. And of course, I got the coverage foundation because you guys know I like a medium to full coverage. Um, as my skin continues to improve, I'll probably just only buy medium coverage foundations because that's all I'll really truly need, but I'm still working on my skin. 
So let's go ahead and break into this box. I have been waiting for this package for so long and I have been watching so many reviews on this foundation from different people and I'm really excited to try it out. I got it in three shades, which I can't remember what they're all called. So we're just going to cut this box open with my little scissors and jump right into swatching. Oh, I forgot to tell you how much this retails for. I believe this foundation is like $42, $42.50, $40.50. It's in the it's in the $40 to $45 range, I'm pretty sure. But they had a little discount code if I became a member, like subscribe to their emails or whatnot. So yeah, it's pretty expensive, but I have heard so many good things about this. And a lot of people wear this in the summer when they want a beat face that isn't going to go anywhere. Like... I've just heard so many good things and it, the hard thing about this foundation is finding your shade it seems for people with oily skin everything else people love about it except figuring out what your shade is but I think like I said I think we did it because this is looking real good on my chest and I'm super excited to try it out back to Desium this foundation yeah I ordered this on April 29th and it just arrived today June 2nd it is June 2nd this foundation was like six dollars a bottle and I got three shades I got 3.2 neutral 3.2 red and then 3.3 neutral and 3.3 neutral I believe is their deepest shade comes nice and bubble wrap nice big box I appreciate that and I love that it has like the name of it and stuff on here <laughs> and this is like sealed bubble wrap so I gotta cut it open what I'm wearing on my face now is the NARS uh, velvet matte skin tint to me this gives me more of like a glowy dewy look than a true matte look even though I said it with powder and stuff so I like it but it will be for those days when I want more of like a glowy natural skin look because I have some sheen to my face. It's really pretty though. I like it a lot. All right, so let's go through these. Um, this is what it looks like. The Ordinary Colors, color formulations with mindfulness. These are all one ounce and this is their full coverage formula. So let me take out the three little bottles. Like I said, these were like six or seven dollars. Very inexpensive. One of the cheapest foundations I've like I purchase and wear. I think the next cheapest would be the Maybelline Matte and Poreless. That's a comparable price range. So from a drugstore, and these are from overseas. This is what they look like. I'm gonna read to you the back. As you look at the three shades, you see the shades on the bottom: 3.2 N, 3.2 R, and 3.3 N on the black label. And you can see it says. Deep, deep neutral, deep red undertone, and very deep neutral. So I got the darkest shade. On the back it says that this is a high coverage, creamy foundation that softens undesirable hues. So basically it's saying it like camouflages any discoloration on your face. So you don't probably won't need to color correct with this. Shake before use. Dispense a small amount into the palm or the back of your hand. Smooth on the face. Blend throughout the face ideally outward from the midpoint of the face that's what most foundations say so we're gonna go ahead and swatch these three, three colors let's start with the one that I don't think will match me but you never know I've watched so many reviews and it seems like it could go either way so we're gonna start with 3.2 R deep with red undertones like I just said I have a very yellow undertone but I bought this because I the price is so cheap I figured I might be able to mix these you know so let's open the box and these are handmade products which is why it took so long to get they weren't expecting it to blow up like it did but when Wayne Goss talked about it like everybody jumped on oh this color looks really good though just from me looking at it so it says shake it really well this is what the bottle looks like you see how that looks like my skin in a bottle like oh, that beautiful brownness I'm loving the bottle has a pump the Maybelline doesn't and like I said this is deep with red undertones, 3.2R, 3.2R. Shaking it up, we're gonna pump on, let's go on this arm, my right arm. 
Oh, let me untwist it. There we go. So it does lock the top locks. Okay. See that little dot right there? Right in the center. I'm just going to rub it out. Okay. So that's 3.2R swatched right there. Feels good. And these are supposed to be full coverage. So this is the shade that I don't think will match me the best because I have a yellow undertone. And you can see it right there, it's actually blended in really well. So that's that shade. I'm gonna put it back in the box. <coughs> so now I have more than enough foundations. You guys know I'm a foundation junkie. And I only, now when it comes to makeup, I only pick up the items I truly, really want. I'm not about just trying everything and anything to figure out what works or buying it because most of my favorite YouTubers like it, but they don't have the same skin as me. I'm really a more informed shopper. Moving on to 3.2 N. This is the one I think might match me the best because it has a neutral undertone, but let's see. Again, this is 100% natural light. So y'all can really see what I'm working with here. And I just got done teaching school. Today was the last day of school. Shaking it up. You can see this is also a really nice brown color. Ooh, that looks like it's gonna match me better just looking at the packaging with my skin. Shaking it up. Unlocking the pump. Gonna put a dot right next to the 3.3R. I'm really excited to try these out, especially since it's like handmade, it's so like fancy for such a good price. If it will come out, and you get one fluid ounce with these. I can't remember the exact price, I know it was cheap, I think it was like six or seven dollars. I didn't feel bad about buying three shades because the price was so good, I know that much. It's not one to come out of this one. Also, keep in mind, I'm right-handed, but I'm trying to use my left hand to get this stuff out right now. Come on out. Okay, it's not wanting to come out. I'm going to unscrew the top very carefully and just put a dot on my arm. Okay. Because your girl's getting impatient. And I'm trying not to have this video be too long. Because y'all know, y'all already know, my videos are always long. Because I don't edit. Okay, so again, this is the shade 3.2N. And that's the dot on my arm right there. You can see it against my skin. I'm just going to blend it out. You see that one looks a lot lighter than my skin tone. So that one may not work for me right now. It's right there. It's kind of blending in, but at the same time, I feel like the 3.2R actually looks better. You see it right there, blended out. Okay, that's that. And next, we're gonna do the 3.3N. This is for very deep skin, neutral, and this is the darkest shade. So let's see how this one swatches on the darkest part of my arm. Not gonna, ooh. Oh snap, yeah, this is really deep. It's so pretty, look at that. I can already tell this is gonna be too dark for me, but just, can we just appreciate that they make a shade this beautiful and this deep, oh, that's pretty. Isn't that it's so pretty? So we're shaking it, shake it, shake it. Again, this is 3.3N, their deepest shade. I'm gonna put a pump on my arm. Oops, don't want to take the cap off. Go. Please come out. Ooh, oh goodness, I got a whole pump. That's it on my arm. You can see that's deeper than my skin tone. And I got a full pump. So we're gonna blend that out. Oh wow, that is so rich. Look at that, oh my gosh. If you are dark skin, you need to hop on this color if it's gonna match your undertone. Do you see how pretty that is? 
that makes me want to be this color because that's gorgeous so you can see this is 3.2 well 3.2 neutrals almost invisible on my skin so that actually might be my true shade so we have 3.3 neutral the biggest swatch because a whole pump literally just squirted out it's kind of liquidy right here in the middle the smallest swatch is 3.2 neutral which i think will be my best shade and then we have 3.2 r which is the red undertone one right here which is also blending in really well so i can't wait to try this out on the face and you best believe that I am going to be blending this into things to make it deeper because that's effing gorgeous, that deep chocolate brown. So I hope this gave you an idea about shade matching in Estee Lauder and in this Decium Dicium foundation. I'm going to leave the link to Wayne Goss's video below so you can see how he talked about this foundation and how he ranted about it. And I just hope that this helps you with the color match. And like I said, be on the lookout for tutorials using all of these. Um, I will use, over the next three days, I will use the Estee Lauder probably tomorrow. I'll do Estee Lauder tomorrow. I'll do 3.2 R on Sunday and then 3.2, no, 3.2 N on Sunday and then 3.2 R on Monday. So, these again are the swatches on my arm. And I'm going to wipe this off and... Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what other foundations you want me to try out. Or if you have tried these foundations, let me know what shades you wear and what you like about them. Or what you don't like about them if you don't like them. So, that being said, I'm going to go. Appreciate you for, I appreciate you for watching. And now that the school year is over, I'll be able to do more looks. So just really leave suggestions for any of the videos that you want to see down below. Again, thank you so much for your support. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye, YouTube.